Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at both Capacities and Notion and comparing both of them to see which is the better note taking app. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand all the key differences between these apps and you'll be able to work out which one's better for you and your individual needs. So let's start with the purpose. What's the purpose of both of these apps? The purpose of both Capacities and Notion is to serve as tools for managing and organising information but they are designed with different focuses. Capacities is primarily a tool for personal knowledge management. It's designed to help individuals organize their thoughts, ideas, and information in a network of interconnected notes. And it's particularly useful for those who prefer a more fluid and flexible way of organizing their notes without being tied to strict hierarchies and tables. Notion, on the other hand, is advertised as a workspace for teams. It's designed to facilitate collaboration, team workflows, data management and automation. It's a powerful tool for companies and teams looking for a flexible platform that can be customised to suit their specific needs. So which one is better for organisation? Capacities organises information in a network of interconnected notes. This allows for a more fluid and flexible way of organising notes. Every media asset in Capacities is an object, just like a note. It has special features and lives as this one object in your note taking. An object does not live in one place. It's interconnected and can be referenced anywhere. In the next meeting, in your project, or in your daily note. Whereas Notion organises information based on tables and folders. This structure can be beneficial for teams that need to manage large amounts of data and collaborate effectively. But Notion focuses on collaboration and it's a powerful information backbone for companies and teams. In summary, if you prefer a more fluid and flexible way of organising notes, Capacities might be better for you, but if you're part of a team that needs to manage large amounts of data and collaborate effectively, Notion might be the better choice. So what about the flexibility of both of these apps? Capacities offers flexibility for its network-based approach to organising information. This allows a more fluid and flexible way of organising notes without being tied to strict hierarchies and tables. It allows you to create and reference objects easily from anywhere in your notes, making it highly flexible for personal knowledge management. Notion offers flexibility for its table-based structures and the ability to customise the workspace to suit specific needs. It allows you to build almost anything with it, from simple note-taking to complex databases, making it highly flexible for team collaboration and data management. In summary, both tools are flexible but serve different purposes. Capacities may be more flexible for individual note-taking and personal knowledge management, while Notion may be more flexible for team collaboration and data management. So which one is easier to use? Capacities is described as having the capacity to provide a condition for its users to perform tasks safely, effectively and efficiently while enjoying the experience. And it's designed to be easy to use for its intended purpose. Notion is often described as very user friendly. It has an intuitive minimalist design and thoughtfully created templates that you can easily figure out, even if you don't consider yourself tech savvy. Notion manages to be the perfect balance between simplicity and functionality while maintaining an intuitive user experience that does not sacrifice ease of use. In a review, Notion received an ease of use rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars. So which one is better for you? The choice between Capacities and Notion really depends on your specific needs and preferences. Capacities is great if you prefer a more natural, interconnected way of taking notes, where your notes organise themselves in a network of ideas. It's also a good choice if you frequently work with media and want your notes structured over time in a calendar with daily notes. On the other hand, Notion is a powerful tool if you need a versatile workspace where you can write, plan, collaborate and organise your work. And it's particularly useful for team collaboration with features like Kanban boards, tables and wikis. In conclusion, both tools have their strengths and it would be best to choose based on what fits your workflow the best. You might want to try both and see which one you prefer. So this has been my video comparing Capacities and Notion. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand all the key differences between them and you should be able to work out which is a better fit for you. I hope you also found this video helpful and if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out and also like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.